triple A. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no, it's just even. Yeah, to be it, quite it, honest. The Omen still provides the smokes. I mean, of course, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's who smokes are going to be a little bit more effective in these situations. And in this case, Brimstone's one are very, very valuable in a map like this as they continue to ooh, try to actually go for the attack here. Unfortunately, that Tailwind is not going to be working out for PTC as he walks right into the trap and dying instantaneously. Oh, Disaster. Wow. Ooh, a quick dink here as the rest of the Arch starting to push through. King finds two on the way from Garden side. He's just checking his angles as finally Judy goes down and Zest taking him out. RB making sure that they come out. He's now backing off into showers with the spike, getting planted to spraying through though. They will be able to land the headshot there onto Jenny, who is attempting to plant the spike. Another member going on in. They're not going to connect spike too planted. many shots this time, but Vision Strikers sets to play for the retake as Stax finding the member, trying to head into the showers, but occupied. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sta oh, well, Stax once again, he's got to get out of the way, and luckily he's got Glo to back him up as well. The last member inside U-Haul as they look to hold it out with the Spectres. They're going to get the defuse here. Another round going over to Vision Strikers. That could have been quite bad. Very aggressive push out oh. Triple A. Jad Dash and waves the smokes and the flashes there coming out in favor. RB getting the opening pick off there. Now it's going to be a 4v4 as they look to continue to push through a site once again. But you can see the preparation coming in from Vision Strikers. Glow finds another. Can he get one more? He sees one. Unfortunately, the shots aren't connecting as the rest of the team are going to be pushing through and forcing Triple A to fight them. Yeah, they do have that spike. They did try and rotate there through the port. Not working out too well for them now. So we have the Cypher holding on to B. This could be Triple A actually taking a big round for them here. This Cypher can't really afford to rotate on over until it's very, very clear which site Triple A are going to be rotating over towards. For now, taking it nice and slow and patient as Stacks will be exiting showers here on Defender's side. Smoke's coming out and the spike being planted here over towards A is going to make it a full 2v2 retake attempt. Okay, let's see how this post spawn is going to go for Vision Strikers in particular because they kind of walked into the site. No resistance whatsoever. So the first thought in their mind, ah, are they going to be coming from the back end? It's too late and it's going to be Kong Garrett, the first to go down. PTC, the last of his kind as he needs to 2v1 the situation like a pro. First peek, ah, doesn't connect onto the head. Stacks pre-firing that really, really well. Indeed, Vision Strikers then three in a a lot of sheriffs coming out for the side of Triple A. They have already triggered. Uh, they've already triggered the trap. Ah! Unfortunately, it's going to be PTC getting picked off. The Zest drops down the recon arrow to get some information if there's any kind of follow up on the other side. Uh, on the other side, you can see Sova rotating towards to pick up that spike. This is a very important pick off here because that was the spike carrier. Yeah, now it's going to make it a bit difficult and even obvious that they're going to be going towards this A push. As they will be continuing to get aggressive. Stacks holding in Garden as King getting the pick onto Aesthetics. The rest of Triple A still a little bit. And he's leaving. We will get that dink though now onto Stacks. That's a big opener for them. They will just get vision. Zest left. though with the pick onto Wanna Flies. The paranoia will fly through, connecting onto him. He might go for the peek. We do have one rotating point behind as well. It's Ginny unable to win the duel there. The 2v1 scenario. As we will have a little bit of a smell coming through, trying to spray him down. Look at that a few rounds previously. We'll see what they can do here. Round. Oh, oh no, another collateral here oh. for Zest. That's his second of the best of five there. Firing through, finding both the Omen as well as Jenny behind. That one hurts PTC into sight though as Zest finding the third kill there. Now shots continuing to ring out as it's going to be a duel. Four versus one. Sonara here, Ascetics left on 30 HP. Spike has been dropped looking for the pick as one will drop down from window. Oh man, Gideon, it's, it's tough. Well, I mean, we got to look at the perspective from both of these teams. For Triple A, these guys are coming into this tournament feeling hot about themselves, especially after the moves. Now coming up against a team that's so strong in this. Can Ascetics make it out? Oh no, the aftershock. It's going to put him in such a tough position. He's at 14 HP as he looks to buy some time. If he can get a pick, left. that would be ideal. And he finally goes down. And coming back to what I was talking about earlier, you got something that they can be proud of and tell everybody else in the world that, hey, we are the best, and here's the reason why. Here comes that rolling thunder for the side of Vision Strikers. No counter at all. Unfortunately, U-Haul is being packed with Glow and his two buddies sitting right behind him just in case it didn't go well. Vision Strikers, once again, still strong with all five of their members. Another pick off from RB onto Ascetics. Triple A, it's going to be a 3v5. 3v5 indeed here, and again, another uphill battle for the side of Triple A. It's so difficult for them. I mean, how do you even go, oh, you guys should save here. I mean, oh, come on, really? We should save? I, five to zero. You want us to go down six to zero? RB smoked off. Don't worry about it. Jet with Tailwind is <laughs> unable to be slowed. 
And it's off to safety now. Mm -hmm. They can't let this momentum get to them, especially for AAA. They gotta keep on fighting. They have to keep on persevering against such a formidable foe. And they're getting plenty of experience of what Vision Strikers are doing correct on the map. The way that they actually handle their rotations is very, left. very smart. Having one person to cover the door. I mean, it's it's gonna sound super basic. One person's covering the door, the other person rotates to cover the next angle. And if you have a third person, that person is gonna push on forward and make no, I mean, sure that it's all clear. You're, you're totally right. The Cypher holding window as well. He's got the camera watching anyone through garden so mm -hmm. they completely Flash have out. this one locked down as flash on flash the counter the crossfire set up Ginny able to trade one away preventing the third flaw is gonna be forced to try a, a different avenue mm -hmm. this time maybe through a they're gonna send their feelers out here but first aesthetics he's gonna get ready oh making sure that he's checking these corners unfortunately rb with a faster reaction time takes out ptc you could literally see ptc's crosshair on his head he was just a click away yeah, just a second too late though for them, unfortunately. Even probably less than a second here. So we will have a flash onto FB or RB, forcing it back now into the site. Glow though getting the kill onto Wanna Fly, trying to get on through. Glow looking for a second now as the shots continue raining down. Ginny with that headshot from long range, able to finish him off. Two people holding inside of U-Haul now as uh, Slacks able to just dodge and dip under the shots, ringing out. Ginny swinging wide there with a double peak RB with a pistol and Snacks is able to find that last shot onto Aesthetic. Seven again going to be on the forefront uh, making sure that uh, Hookah is going to be no safe so that Cypher has a way to kind of cross back into it into the site Ooh, Hunter's Fury coming out can he get that pick up here and yes he does that's going to be Glow going down King finds his, uh, his own pick onto Wanderfly using his ultimate and revealing the positions of his opponents oh there we go PTC able to get a trade onto one but the King oh great stuff there he's going to find three with a great spray control locking onto the heads and there's going to be the fourth one now onto Ginny alone maybe looking for the pick as the cypher is going to be rotating towards b or towards a make that but no like there as uh, again triple a just continue to wait now vision strikers they've set up perfectly here for the crossfire left. it's an extremely dangerous zone to now go for and i'm going to smoke Chuck them done. off looking to try and delay them Chuck a little done. bit more as there's a rotation forward aggressively onto Prepare one as health. inside but now they're going to force them out with the orbital strike 16 seconds left in the round as now the teleporters will be used that's going to be now a mad dash a b line from everyone here on left. the side of Vision Strikers, but King, he's going to be holding on. That's a spike character kill. He's going to get two as well, making it his third of the round. Can he even get more? He will, running directly to the crossfire, and he's going to get the ace as well, King. I mean, continuing to just play this one flawlessly, 9-0 to zero for them thus far. Yeah, they've got such a good read on AAA. Like, the amount of preparation go, uh, to get ready for a game like this, knowing their attack patterns, understanding where they usually like to plan, we've seen time and time again that they are abusing this pre-game information to yep. hurt Triple A at this. Oh, nice Molly there onto PTC. There might have heard that little bit of damage. Oh, uh, does not want to peer through the smoke blow though. How they've heard him as RB from behind getting the pick onto Wanna Fly. They will be pulling out the weapon. Oh, oh, a bit awkward, a bit awkward. Oh no, Glow. He's still gonna get the kill onto PTC. He has to pull the weapon back out to find it. It's not gonna be the flawless as Jenny is able to get the kill now onto Glow. Okay, I mean, but we gotta we gotta put this in perspective. It's not it's a very difficult thing to do, especially with pistol rounds being a thing. That, that could go both ways. It's a 50-50. You're starting off at pretty much zero. If Vision Strikers can win this particular uh, win this round against Triple A, force them to eco one more time, it's going to be looking like they're in prime position yeah. to do that 13-0 that 13 and 0 with their final challenge being winning that pistol round. Yeah, RB not only getting the wall, but the headshot now one onto Wanna Fly. That's going to cut this pick in half. RB again oh. will miss that shot at the very least. This is going to allow no for a 2v2 scenario. The best scenario here for Triple A they found themselves in thus far. Hunter's Fury will be done. Out, holding on to that last shot will not let that arrow loose, but spike a two v two as the spike yeah. will be planted here. I think only for the second time on this map. Yeah, this, these odds are pretty good so far. Oh, but Ginny, he finds one. It's a one v two situation. Can they stop them from making yes. it happen? And yes, they did it. Oh my good. On to PTC is looking like we're gonna get closer to that eleven to one score here in our last round. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, Triple A on the attacker side trying to go through B. They've tried this multiple times. But notice that the Lurker coming in from Breach on that backside from the S. Here comes the initial engagement as Breach drops down that Rolling Thunder. Getting onto Psy King. He finds one. He uh, finds two. He gets the ult as well. Finds a third one. Don't give him the ace. Glow making sure that he's taking everything else away from him. And even the counter. Vision Strikers, especially in the ego part of this game.
It has, of course. Triple A still did get that knife kill, but PDC, nice job there. The opening pickoff, but Stax returning the favor immediately as they're going to be very, very aggressive out from Beast Short, but that does allow now the Sova to rotate on through, potentially rotate around. Nice dink. Good shots out from King. Uh, Congo Red make that onto the king as Ascetics will be shot down by Zest. A 3v3 scenario. Zest looking to get back now, capturing the ulti orb. Genie hiding this one away, still over in B site. But the spike now out from Vision Strikers here. They're looking to try and get on into this B site. Good job by Genie trading away Zest now as the 1v1 continues through the wall there. As Congo Red, they are looking to take this pistol round, but Glow, he's fighting hard. Wants this big win here for him and the team. Smoking himself off, can plant this spike now, has plenty of time to spare as well, Gideon. Mm -hmm, yep, it's a 1v1, and he's low on HP! There we go! Triple A fight at Wanna Fly, making sure those last shots connect. A real already impressive repertoire of 11 round wins. Starting off really, really strong here. PTC, he's gonna be walking up again. Who's gonna see him first? And unfortunately, oh, he actually wins the 1v1! RB, this might be an opportunity for Triple A to get a little bit more defensive. Most definitely here now, Triple A. They're going to be dropping back, trying to play this one man advantage, as you say here, King. Zanu gets smoked off from showers. It will now rejoin the team here as that spike still holding in mid lane, or uh, at least link here uh, towards the defender or the attacker spawn to make it. Mm -hmm. Now, take into account that RB has been able to open up with picks almost every single time against AAA. So winning that 1v1, going to be huge. So let's see how Vision Strikers are going to handle this with a one-man down advantage. 4v5, they are going to have to play a little bit more tight, a little bit more concise, because they're not going to have as many eyeballs on the site to give that information to the fraggers. Uh, most definitely. They need to be a bit careful here. 40 seconds. We'll see what Vision Strikers want to do. If they're playing real defensive here, they're going to go for the full, well, maybe not the full save, but you can w you could see a scenario if it's, you know, 11 to 10 in left. which they go for the full save. But Vision Strikers, they're going to be going for a nice pick there now. Onto Aesthetics. It's going to be popping off now. A PTC holding a very nice angle being picked off oh by damn. King, though. He's like, no, 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 that's my spot. I got an ace from that spot. That's not your ace spot. Yeah, now it's going to be a 4v3 situation here. Congreg already evening up the score. T 11 more seconds. Yeah. Can they pull this through? They're not even going to stop the plant this time around. They want to make sure that they are duking it out, especially with Congreg at 12. Ooh, HP. Oh. It's tough. Wanna fly is good at finding the next pick off here. 93 HP and 35 armor to make this work. He picks up the Bulldog. Ooh, that's going to be Ginny next. Zest making sure that he's still pretty warmed up. Wanna fly, he's got to land these shots to ensure the victory of this round. But Breach hiding by elbow side can catch him off guard he's gonna tap it once after shot comes through gonna delay that up uh, uh, delay that spot oh no even the fault line as well yeah. he's not gonna get the defuse hey, it's so difficult here it's gonna now just try and hold on to the phantom vision strikers forced off to the other side towards b long but will now with this victory set themselves up for match point ah oh, that's so frustrating that's so so frustrating even when he wanted to clutch it out vision strike don't have now another map to fall back on yeah they just need another one keep their hopes alive at least it's not an eco round this time so it's not going to be so lopsided triple a have every opportunity to take this round away from vision strikers and they're going to have to keep on doing it and force vision strikers to use their economy until they've got nothing left yeah, and uh, as of this point here, AAA just playing it very, very slow here, not looking to get too aggressive. We will see a few rotations out from B spawn here, out from PTC. Not scouting anything. He's not going to see anything over towards B short, so they might know it's coming A short now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. Oh, no, no, in you hall That's a bad spot here. They will be able to get at least one traded off in exchange, but this Strikers, they're going to be able to rush into C site now after clearing out u haul PTC looking for some kills. It's Conga ready. He's going to hear the spike going down, but he's going to be spraying, missing, 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 and misses big. Oh, Gideon, it's a 4v2 spike planted. We will have them now rotating around. Into sight goes Ascetics. There's plenty of members here holding mm -hmm. U-Haul, but Vision mm -hmm. Strikers, they're one round away here from becoming champions. Group B leaders, they come out of that group with a 39 round difference, but PTC hoping to try and make it a little bit closer. Stacks now, Ascetics getting fully flashed now. Still trying to hold on to the site, but it will be Vision Strikers.